nobody here. Wait a minute, I'm just gonna get the perfect angle of the castle. I don't know, I'm kind of like nervous. Epcot! Buy two of my favorite spots. Show you my outfit. I look a mess. It is so rainy outside, but we are at Disney right now. We're doing a little solo day, so it's just gonna be the two of us, and we are going to go through and do just a ton of random Disney things. Right now, we are at breakfast. We are at Steakhouse 71 in the Contemporary, so I'll let you know how it is. It's my first time coming here, but I'm gonna sit. I have my phone with my little battery pack on. I always bring portable battery for my phone. So I'm gonna let that charge up because it, I forgot to plug it in on the car ride. So now we gotta just have that charge up for the day. Breakfast was so good. It is like 8.20 almost. The park, we're gonna go to Magic Kingdom first. The park opens at nine, but I wanted to show you how gloomy it is outside. It's super rainy. The entire state is basically covered in rain right now. So we might end up having to buy like a little poncho or something. I was going to bring one, but then I decided not to. I want to try to show you my outfit. So I'm wearing this t-shirt that's just like, it's from a small business. And then of course we've got the fanny pack and then I've just got leggings and Burks. Those are like my go-to theme park shoe. I know it gets a lot of hate where some people like make fun of wearing sandals to theme parks. Personally, they're the most comfortable shoes to wear in my opinion and then this is the arm obviously we've got the magic band and then I've just got my bracelets and a scrunchie because I had a feeling I might put my hair up I guess while we're chilling I'll show you what I have in my bag we're still at the contemporary so you'll see that in the background but I use the lululemon belt bag I wish I was able to like prop you guys up on something but I can't so in here I've got deodorant my charger I've got some hand wipes, a little perfume. Gotta make sure you smell good, right? I've got my AirPods, Aquaphor, my car keys, and then obviously I've got you. I've got hand sanitizer, extra camera battery, SD card reader, and a hair clip. Let's go catch the monorail and just head on over to the Magic Kingdom just because we are at the Contemporary. It's gonna have to go to the Polynesian and the Grand Floridian first. So let's go catch that. So we are in the monorail right now. Um, I forgot, we haven't had coffee yet. Well, I had coffee at home, but I've not had coffee here. So we're gonna make a pit stop at the Polynesian. So I've heard that they've got a really good iced coffee. So we'll see how that is and then we'll head. Let's go to Magic Kingdom. It's still super rainy, so I, I was told that the rain is supposed to clear up by 10 a.m. I don't know how true that is. But I feel like we might just have to grab a poncho. I was going to bring one, but it was just too cold for me to bring it here. So I think we're gonna just have to try to find one and buy it. But we'll see how it goes. Clearly the rain is not being very kind to my hair, so we'll see. And the crowd levels, I don't know if you guys can really tell, not too bad, so we'll see how the parts are. Got in from the monorail and it was 
pouring. So I'm kind of like nervous to head over to Magic Kingdom just because I feel like the weather is so crazy. It's 8.45, the park opens at nine, obviously like early entry and we could get in right now. However, I really feel like we should try to find a rain jacket first. I feel like that might be our best our best bet right now. I don't know, I'm kind of like nervous because it is, it's very, very gloomy. Oh, and you can see there's a skylight and it's pouring. See, it's just like, it's not pouring that hard, but you can tell it's definitely, definitely coming down up there. And here's the rain cleared up. So now we are on our way. Magic Kingdom. Hopefully, though, it stays clear because it's still super cloudy, but at least it's not raining. I don't know if you guys can hear me. We are at the Magic Kingdom. It stopped raining. I'm so happy about that. I was so worried, but we're good. Now let's go hang out at Magic Kingdom and have a, just a chill day. I'm so excited to hang out with you. I feel like we hit the jackpot with timing. There is nobody here. Like Main Street is pretty much completely empty, which is fabulous. So let's go get some castle pictures first. I'll show you a little hidden spot to take your photos. And then I think we're gonna get on the people mover and start strategizing the rest of the plan. I think for lunch, we're gonna do Casey's Corner, get some corn dogs, and hopefully by then the grass will dry up and we can sit on the grass. So castle pictures, number one priority. <laughs> This is like the best spot for photos. So it's under one of these little like shelter things, but you can put your phone right on one of these emergency boxes and you get the perfect angle of the castle. Plus there's nobody around here. So a little, little life hack, but I took some cute photos. Here, let me show you the angle that you can get. Oh, we're zooming in. Isn't this just like the perfect angle? Obviously have a phone it gets more of the castle in but like how perfect is this little spot let's make our way to the people mover little tip that i have is i love to plan out what i'm going to do next sitting on the people mover one i love the ride it's a classic however it's great to be able to just sit down and check the wait times and all that but honestly there are like no wait times which is crazy and there's like nobody here which is I feel like it's gonna get busy soon, but for right now, I'll take it. There's like nobody here. It's windy. I hope you guys, I hope you can still, still hear me. But it's it's windy. But at least, at least there's nobody here. This is a win. Thank 
Galactic Travelers, welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Emma. I'm Borak 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky, the absolute best way to see tomorrow. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? From spacecraft to monster labs, there's really nothing like today in Tomorrowland. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not leave while well on board. Thank you. The next station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Traders. Transfer to Green and Red Lines. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. Fired Epcot and a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny bull rack. Thank you. 
symbol of interplanetary harmony and fellowship. Hop aboard and launch high above Tomorrowland for a spin amongst the planets. to dream of a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. not busy because it's it's super early for lunch so I was like you know what let's go ahead and do this found a table it is a little bit wet all of the all of the chairs are wet because it's been raining and I'm glad I wore what I wore let me show you so I think I showed you this t-shirt already but I paired it with like a long sleeve 
under it because I was like, if I get too hot, I can take off this under sleeve right here and then just have a t-shirt on. And I will say the sun is starting to come out and it's definitely not cold and rainy anymore. So I'm glad I wore that. So let's place a mobile order. And I am filming a what I spent at Disney for the shorter form content platform so if you're curious on what I spent today that'll be on other platforms so let's go on to the app I did not purchase a genie plus because honestly it's just not busy at all here so let's place a little mobile order it's so easy just to do the mobile order and then just go pick it up We got the french fries, the corn dog nuggets, and then I like to eat them with mustard. Should have got ketchup for the fries, but that's okay. I'm gonna just do mustard and the corn dogs. I don't know why, but I remember being a kid and having these. So they're not like, if, you, if you've never had them, okay? They're not the greatest, but it's like mostly for the nostalgia kind of factor for me. But they do hit when you're at Disney and this is your view, so I'm not mad. Refueled, now we're going to Adventureland. I kind of feel like let's just walk around. If we see a bubbles, if we see a wait time that is just too good to pass up, we'll go make a stop and make a ride. I do want to go see Tiana's Bayou Adventure, see what is up with that, see how they're coming. I think they're supposed to open it up in the next like couple of months, if I remember correctly, as well as we're gonna need a beverage soon. I feel like either water <laughs> or maybe we'll find like a fun beverage because we're at Disney or maybe we'll do both. Maybe we'll do both. I think that sounds like fun, but let's let's walk around and see if what we can find. she is I mean it looks like it's pretty much done I'm so excited actually random thing about me I've never been on Splash Mountain but I honestly feel like I might want to go on this one just because it's new and I don't know I've never been on it before I have heard though if you go on Splash Mountain to go at nighttime because is that the castle right there yeah it is but Splash Mountain is literally right there so the drop you see the castle so I've heard that like during the fireworks or at nighttime it's like really cool to do that. Okay, I need to find a restroom. <laughs> like fast. That coffee is. Oh my god, I gotta pee my. I'm gonna pee my pants. It might be. It might be a little TMI, but I gotta find a restroom. And then I honestly think I'll, I'll use the one near the train. And we'll hop on the train and maybe take it to like I don't know where it goes. Fantasyland maybe. And then we'll walk around, see what's over there. I will say. Drops. The wind is picking up, so I don't know what we're gonna do. We can always swing to Epcot if we want to, but I'm down if you have any suggestions. <laughs> I would like to go, I don't know about you, but I would like to go on Haunted Mansion. So maybe when we're on the train, we'll check the wait time for that. We can kind of see, sorry if my hand is shaking. I had coffee today, and I guess I'm all like shaky trying to hold the camera. I've also never been on Big Thunder Mountain, which again, might be a surprise. Like I've done a ton of Disney rides, but I'm just not a huge roller coaster fan, but I'm also not a huge old roller coaster fan. Does that make sense? Like I wanna ride something that's newer. I don't know, not that I don't trust them because I know that they're safe, but it just makes me nervous. If you're just joining us, a hearty welcome aboard. We're heading for our next stop, Fantasyland, before carrying on to Main Street, USA. Everybody stay seated and keep your hands and arms, feet and legs safely inside the train. And as always, keep an eye on your little ones. Find them their own. We ended up getting 
dropping off at on Main Street. So that works out perfectly. Let's go through a few shops. It is getting kind of chilly. I was on the train. I was like, oh my gosh, it's kind of chilly out. I do need to grab a water. So let's try to find, let's try to find a water. There's going to be plenty of waters in here. And then, I don't know about you, but let's get on the monorail. We can head on over to Epcot. Maybe we'll come back here and go on a couple more rides. We'll just see where the day takes us. So let's go through the Emporium first. I wish they had more like subtle Disney stuff because like these are cute but it's still a little bit too big like you can see size reference it's still pretty large but like I just wish they had super subtle minimal kind of Disney merch like the baseball caps are getting the vision like that is cute that's cute look see the Mickey's even smaller and then this one is also not too bad which like I'm happy the hats are getting it, but I wish like t-shirts would get the get the memo. I will link the shirt down below. This is from like a small Disney business, but it's basically just like a whole Orlando Disney shirt. And then the back has, I believe, like the opening speech that Walt Disney did when they first opened up the park. So it's like, again, subtle Disney. You wouldn't really know directly, but I like the minimal, minimal look. If you like fun colors though, and you like a ton of pattern, they do have like some fun little pieces. Like these ears are cool. I just I don't know I don't ever really wear ears I did buy the like leather version and they had like stitching on the side I had no idea I got them I did not look at the price I ended up paying close to a hundred dollars for these ears and it really wasn't even worth it we are gonna grab a water though before we get on the monorail all right we got one of the Disney five dollar waters that people lose their mind over and I get it it's expensive but if you've ever had Florida water, you want to drink water bottles. You do not want to drink the tap water. It's so gross. And I know the argument, Dasani water sucks. Okay, I get it. One, get smart water. They do have them at like most water locations. But like, you trust me, you don't want to drink the water. It's so gross. Not only does it taste gross, but it's bad for you. Even if you're here for a couple days, I get really upset stomachs when I drink Florida's water. So I will buy bottled water. You can get the refillable ones. But again, one, you're drinking out of a fountain, and two, it's Florida water. So I know the water bottles are controversial. I don't need to explain myself, but you do not want to drink the tap water. You're welcome. Water secured. Let's hop on over on the monorail and see what Epcot, Epcot's like. Curious to see if it's as slow as Magic Kingdom. And honestly, like we might just come back to Magic Kingdom because it is... There's nobody here, which is really nice. Like I thought for sure once the rain stopped, the crowds would pick up and it did get a little bit busier, but really not by much. So that's, that's a huge win. I do want to go on at Epcot Spaceship Earth, which is the ride in the Epcot ball. So we'll do that. Maybe we'll walk around World Showcase. I really don't do that too often, but we might do it today. I don't know.
If you're looking for an auxiliary sensor drill rod, step into Mission Space, where you and your flight crew can sign up for one of two out-of-this-world missions. And just next door is the new Space 220 restaurant, where you can lift off and enjoy stellar dining in space. At Test Drive, you can experience the exhilaration of test driving a vehicle on the longest and fastest ride ever created for this world. Across the lagoon, World Showcase, where you'll find representatives from the host country, making this a truly international experience. Some exciting new adventures from around the world are coming to France, Canada, China, and the United Kingdom. Join us tonight at the lagoon to celebrate together during our nighttime. There's even more to you explore as you come around to the world of imagination and nature. Inside those glass pyramids, unleash your sparks and journey into a vaccination with Pixar and experience your favorite short films like never before at the Disney Pixar Short Film Festival. Next is the land where you can celebrate Earth's rich diversity. The land is also home to soar, a free flying adventure across the wonders around the world. Here in the sea, you'll be able to meet some of your favorite undersea pals from Disney Pixar's Finding Nemo. We are approaching the Epcot monorail station. For our smoking guests, there are designated smoking areas just outside the park. Please hold on to the handrail and stay clear of the doors until the monorail stops completely and the doors open. On behalf of the cast of the Walt Disney World Resort, welcome to Epcot. How are you doing? All right. We are at Epcot. I totally forgot it was Flower and Garden Festival. So there's tons of really pretty flowers, like literally right up front. Here, sorry to spin you, but they've got all these flowers. It's so pretty. So let's, let's see what the wait time is for Spaceship Earth. And um, we'll see what the wait times look like around here. I should have checked on the monorail, but I didn't, so we'll just, we're just kind of winging it, you guys. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a pretty long wait. Oh, 15, that is not 15 minutes. There's no way. All right, let's go into one of the gift shops while we're here, but there's no way that line is 15 minutes. Not that it really matters. But if you're curious on the busyness level of Epcot, it's not too bad. I think it's a little busier than Magic Kingdom, which kind of surprises me, but I don't know. So if you're looking, I guess, for a good time to plan to come to Disney, utilize the rainy days, because they're, they're rainy, but Florida weather, even if it looks like it's gonna be all day rain, because today it says like 10% constantly, there's gonna be little breaks throughout the day, and it's fine. It starts storming, just go inside somewhere, do some shopping, grab something to eat, but you don't have a ton of weights, as well as you don't have to wait for a ton of rides, obviously, like with the wait times and stuff. Okay, I'm out of breath. <laughs> to get up that monorail to get into Epcot always takes so long, it's such a long, walk but let's explore the flower and garden festival i'm so excited that this is going on so let's go see some of the the decor the flowers let's go look i really like all this seating that epcot added with like the revamp because now there's so many tables and there's a ton of seating and there's also little charging stations so if you need to charge your phone they pretty much have these like all throughout the park. I will say, Epcot's vibes are so good. Magic Kingdom can get a little crazy, but Epcot's normally so chill and relaxing, which is obviously the vibe of today. I've never really walked around all these like new little seating areas, but look, they've got, that's a huge table. But if you wanted to like come and get work done, I mean these are all pretty much shaded because they've got trees. But look, they've got little like bar stools and all of that. Never even really walked over here, but I think this is like the new area that they just worked on. So 
If you're, if you're coming here, it's good to know those are there. Oh, perfect. Let's go into creations, see if we can grab anything. I do want to grab a few snacks for at home. So we'll see if we can find anything here. I don't know if I want to carry a ton of stuff. So we'll just kind of see, but it doesn't it doesn't hurt to just go wander through. Again, I don't love like the merch at Disney stores, but the snacks, I'll take the snacks. So I do know they have this kind of like neutral home decor section, but it's still it's still too bold for me. Like I wish they would just tone it down a little tiny bit. I mean like they're not they're not bad and I see improvement, but it's still it's still a little too Disney. And I'm not gonna lie, like the quality doesn't seem incredible and of course you're paying Disney prices. You know, like the blanket's not bad. And the pillow. So that's like a cute little throw pillow. But like, as for everything else, I don't know what I don't know what I would buy. I'd probably do the pillow, the blanket, and maybe whatever this little trivet is. I think that's kind of subtle enough. But they do have this collection. If you're coming and you like neutrals, they've got a neutral home collection. Also, they have a lot of the same collections at different stores. So like for example, when we were in the Emporium at Magic Kingdom, do you remember this collection that I showed you, like the wallets and stuff? They have the same collection at Epcot. So when you come here, just know, like if you see something at one store, unless it's like an exclusive that park, you can normally find the same items elsewhere so you don't have to walk around with bags while you are going on rides and all that you can just purchase it at your last park did not find anything however i do really want an iced matcha so i think we're gonna go to connections cafe run into starbucks really quick hopefully find a place to sit i do need to change this camera battery and um i can show you my starbucks order when i do go to starbucks because i don't go that often i normally get an iced matcha so i can show you show you that and we can hang out i love the connections cafe because there's so much seating and again today is not that busy so i'm hoping we'll be able to find a good spot the drink and a little snack. I have you balanced on a water bottle, which might be a really bad idea, but we're gonna just hope this works. So I got an iced matcha. This is what I always get, an iced matcha latte with sweet cream cold foam on the top. And then for a snack, I saw this at the counter. It's a croissant donut. So I was like, I couldn't just say no to this. Oh my gosh, this looks insane. That looks insane. That's delicious. Look, it's got like, hold on, get me out of focus. It's a croissant donut and it's got like powdered sugar all around. Why is it focusing on me? Focus on the donut. It's got like powdered sugar and a croissant, so it's flaky. It's crunchy, but it's still like light and airy on the inside. It's actually really good. It's got a really good amount of cinnamon and sugar on it. This is really good. I wanted to say, my fingers, this is where the wipes come in to play. I know a lot of you probably wonder if I actually use these wipes, and I do. This is one of those situations where like, I'm not quite ready to go. I just wanna be able to wipe my hands. So I always have these with me, and I do use these all the time. For the situations where the hand sanitizer just isn't enough, probably like noon or one. So I'm gonna chill out here, drink my matcha, and I'm actually gonna start, I think, editing the what I spend in a day at Disney. I don't know, I just kinda wanna see like how much footage I have and just kinda start shaping it together. Sometimes when I'm like filming stuff or editing something, I like to do a mid video edit just to see like how it's coming. Do I need more transitions? It just kinda helps me like with the filming of knowing 
like what to what to add but i'm gonna toss this out drink my drink the matcha and we'll just hang out here for a little while and I'm, we'll double check that radar just because it is cloudy but you never know in a worst case, if it rains, we'll just go and do a shop or onto a ride. I do want to go on the, uh, what is it called? Not the Little Mermaid. What's the ride at Epcot that is like the Little Mermaid ride at Magic Kingdom? Finding Nemo. We're gonna go on the Finding Nemo ride and then it, hopefully Spaceship Earth will lighten up that wait time. I just don't believe that was a 15 minute wait. If you think that was a 15 minute wait, comment down below. Let me know if you thought that was a 15 minute wait, but that looked more like a 25, 30 minute wait to me, but I could be wrong. Day goes on, the hair just gets frizzier and more curled. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal, and I'm debating what to do, so. I want you to help me kind of make this decision. I'm hoping in spirit you can help me with this right now, okay? I'm debating whether to get in line for Spaceship Earth and just risk it, or should we just go do the Finding Nemo ride because that's like a five minute wait. The Disney app, let me show you. The Disney app says it's a 10 minute wait for Spaceship Earth. Do we believe that? Should we go see? like let's go look that's the worst that can happen and hopefully we'll be able to get on that because i really want to go on i haven't gone on it the past like two times that we've came because the wait for that ride has been just like insane and i'm hoping today might be our best chance at getting on that ride it is like noon though and i think that croissant's gonna like hold me over for now and then we'll go back into the gift shop and um, grab some snacks because i did see they have the chocolate covered peanuts that i love to get so we gotta grab a bag of those before before we leave all right it cut me off there <laughs> but the line has cleared up so we are good to go let's go figure out where where the line is stand by at five minutes which is basically a walk on all right grab a beverage this ride is a little long let's go on it during your slow moving journey your time machine will slowly rotate backward and may stop momentarily for your safety remain seated at all times during your slow moving journey your time machine will slowly rotate backward and may stop momentarily for your safety remain seated at all times
for your return to Earth. Please remain seated, time travelers. Attention travelers, please remain seated. Your time machine is rotating back.
like it takes your photo and sometimes you'll just like take a it'll take a regular photo but it won't get you does that make sense like sometimes the photos turn out so crazy but I tried to get you into it and it actually registered me and the camera so how fun was that we created our own little future and it's a lot of fun I love like those the lazy more relaxing rides the people mover, spaceship earth, haunted mansion. I don't know, I love those lazy rides. Speaking of lazy rides, let's go see what the Finding Nemo wait time is, which is normally no wait, so let's hope that it stays that way. So happy today, it ended up being such a good day. I'm like, it's just the perfect Disney day, so don't sleep on rainy Disney days. You might might get lucky and have it be empty and then have the sky clear up. I told you I don't love color, but I don't know why, but the orange bird merch is really cute to me. Like I, I actually think these are super cute and I really can't tell you why. Maybe it's just because it's a cute orange bird, but in my mind this doesn't even really register as color. Another kind of hot take maybe, but I really don't love the lounge fly bags. I don't have any and I don't ever see myself getting them. I really just love the Lululemon belt bags. So it's kind of like the way to go for me, but I don't know, again these ones are, oh wait, does this guy? Oh, that's too funny. He comes in and out. That's cute. Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm lying. It's not cute. This is cute. I just wish it wasn't so colorful. And that bag is also cute. Take a shot every single time I say cute. It's so funny, I say cute for everything because I'm like, I don't really know what else to, how else to describe it because it's not something that I would necessarily buy, but I don't think it's ugly. So cute is a little bit of, I guess, a passive aggressive. <laughs> In that case, maybe not passive aggressive, but you, I, think, I hope you get what I'm trying to say. It's a little bit like, I don't know how else to describe it. Like it's definitely for somebody, but that somebody is just not, not me, so. All right, we took the long way over to where we're going. Wait, am I going the right way? I think so. We took the long way to Finding Nemo, but we'll see. I did look, Soren has a 35 minute wait, which kind of surprised me because everything else doesn't have a wait. But Soren, of course, does. So I don't think we're gonna do Soren unless it like completely goes down. But aside from that, I think we're just going to do the Finding Nemo. Five minute wait. Let's go for it.
did find these. These are technically Starbucks brand, but partnered with Disney. I like these. These are Emily, Emily approved. They're just like little tumblers. I like, I would get this, I would get that. Do we need it? No, but I would get that. Stopped at Joffrey's, didn't really want a coffee, so I asked the woman at the counter what she gets, and she got the frozen lemonade with dragon fruit. I can't even fake the first sip because I already had it. This is incredible. This is so good. Just didn't want a coffee, but this, so fun, refreshing. So frozen lemonade with dragon fruit. I didn't see it on the options because I think the flavors were like blue raspberry, sour apple, something else. Didn't see this, but this is a really, really good beverage.